they tell us that the first term of a geometric sequence is 9 and then this one's quite interesting the ratio of the sum of the first eight terms to the sum of the first four terms is that determine term 5 if all terms are positive so this is quite an interesting one okay well they tell us that the first term is 9 so we know that a is 9 then they tell us that the ratio of the sum of the first eight terms, so let's find the sum of the first eight terms. We know that it's geometric, and we know that A is 9, so we can say 9, but we have no idea what the ratio is. And it says that the sum of the first eight terms, okay, so that's 8 minus 1 over R minus 1. And then they also talk about the sum of the first four terms, so let's go fill that in. That's also going to be 9, then it's going to be R4 minus 1 over r minus 1. They tell us that the ratio of the eighth sum, which is this one, to the fourth one is 97 over 81. What that means mathematically is that s8 over s4 is 97 over 81, which is going to be 9 r8 minus 1 over r minus 1 over 9 r4 minus 1 over r minus 1. Okay, now what I think we should do next is here we have a fraction on top of a fraction. So you know like in earlier grades where if you have like 1 over 4 divided by 3 over 2, then you can do that timesing and the flipping over thing so it becomes 1 over 4 times 2 over 3. Well, let's try that now. I think some things might cancel out. So it's going to be 97 over 81 equals to 9 and then R8 minus 1 over R minus 1 times by R minus 1 over 9 R4 minus 1. Okay, so those cancel. That's quite nice. The 9s also cancel out. And so we're left with 97 over 81 equals to R8 minus 1 R4 minus 1. Now we could think of the top one, this one here, as a difference of squares. We could also do difference of squares with the bottom one, but it's not necessary. Let me show you why. If we do difference of squares with the top one, we're going to get 97 over 81 is equal to r4 minus 1 and r4 plus 1. That's difference of squares. Then we have r4 minus 1 here. Those cancel. Oh, it's working out nicely. I was a bit concerned just now. So 97 over 81 is equal to r4 plus 1. We then take the 1 over. Oh, it's working out very nicely. So 16 over 81 is equal to R4. We can take the fourth root. So we can take the fourth root on both sides. And so R is going to be 2 over 3. Technically, when you're taking a root of a positive number, you should have a plus and a minus. But it's only going to be the positive one because they've told us that all terms are positive. So if my R value is negative 2 over 3, then if A, which is term 1, is 9, then term 2 would be 9 times negative 2 over 3. And so we would start including negative numbers, and so that's not going to be correct. So therefore, R is only going to be positive 2 over 3. But now we're not done, because they said determine term 5. So to determine term 5, we can use the TN formula, and we're trying to find term 5. Now A, they told us is 9. R, we just found as positive 2 over 3 to the power of 5 minus 1. And so that's going to be 16 over 9. Now, of course, you could leave it as 16 over 9, or you could write it as a decimal 1.78. If it was in a test, you would most likely do two decimal places.